Hi, I'm Kevin Jensen, a divorce and family law attorney in Mesa, Arizona. There's a lot of strange things that can sometimes happen when parties are going through a divorce. Once in a while, we have someone come in our office stressed out, completely unnerved because one of the other parents has done something that has affected his or her relationship with, with his child. For example, we recently had a case where a mother going through a divorce situation took the child from the state of Arizona and left, really without consent of the other parent or from an order from the court. As you can imagine, the father was stressed out. He didn't know where his child was, he didn't know how to get a hold of the child, and he, of course, he didn't agree for the child to even leave in the first place. The mother was being completely vindictive and refused to bring the child back to Arizona so that he could be with his father. The father hired us to help him find the child and get him back to Arizona. Now, this was not a very easy process. To start with, we had to file a petition with the court requesting that the court order that the mom bring the minor child back to the state of Arizona. The problem, the first problem that arose in that process is that you have to serve the other party with the petition. Well, how in the world do you serve somebody who's left the state and you don't know where they're at? That was the first problem that we had to solve. After making as many attempts as we could possibly make, to serve her through normal means by sending a process server, we had to actually go and get permission from the court to serve by publication. Now this is a process where you can actually publish the petition that you're filing in a newspaper and that gives notice to the other party that somebody has filed something in court and that they have to respond. That's a long process and it's not very easy. It took us about a month to do that. Only after we served her through publication were we able to go in front of the judge. Now the judge had some limitations, at least that's what she thought. Through some hard work and legal research, we were able to convince the judge that she could order that the mother return the child to Arizona through the process of issuing something called a, a warrant. This was a warrant that required mother to bring the child back to Arizona. Well, that was a victory for us. But we still had a problem. How do we get somebody not in the state of Arizona to execute this warrant? What we wanted to do was have a law enforcement officer, wherever mom was, take this warrant to mom, physically take the child and bring him back to Arizona. After a lot of work and research and frankly a little bit of help from a, uh, an anonymous tipster, we were able to find that mother had taken the minor child to the state of Florida. The next problem that we encountered is how do we take this warrant and get somebody in Florida to go over to mom's house and say, let's go, we're taking the, the child back to Arizona. What we found out is that we had to domesticate that order or that warrant in Florida. Now domesticate's kind of a fancy legal word for getting somebody in Florida to recognize that warrant as valid. We were able to find a legal procedure in Florida that allowed them to recognize the warrant in Arizona and then execute that, that warrant like any other warrant. Um, this story has a happy ending. We were able to accomplish that, that domestication process and engage the sheriff's department down in Florida to go over to mother's house and physically take the child from the mother and bring him back to Arizona. Now, divorce situations, as I said in the beginning, create all kinds of stressful situations. Sometimes they're not very common situations, like this case. Uh, it's not every case where somebody flees the state with a child. But when something like that happens, you're going to need somebody who's willing to get in your corner and fight hard for you. Someone who's willing to take some of that stress on. Someone who's going to give you the reassurance that everything's going to be okay. There's a legal process that allows justice to be done. We do that kind of work every day. We, we are dedicated to helping parents facing difficult situations with their children during divorces. We offer a, three, a free 30 minute consultation uh, where we hope to put your mind at ease and to, to give you some uh, advice as to what can be done in any difficult divorce situation. So please, if you're going through something difficult in a divorce uh, or, or any other legal matter, give us a call 
at 480-632-7373.